everyone, welcome back to my channel, I'm Magda and today we're gonna talk about cross borders in Luxembourg. So let's get started. So as you may know or not, if you're interested to come into Luxembourg, probably it crossed your mind to live somewhere outside of Luxembourg. What does it mean? It means you can live in France, Germany or Belgium and you're called cross border. So basically you live outside of Luxembourg, you're usually very close to the border. I'm also planning to do the video about how to like where you can find the flats around the border of Luxembourg and basically you live across the border and you're commuting to work every single day or as we're gonna speak later about the how many days you can work from home to your office. So that has a lot of pros and cons. I already did the video about it and I will link it at the end of the video and down below in the description box. However, let's start with the most important benefit, which is money. So most of the times it's just cheaper to live abroad. I mean, cross borders. You're saving a lot of money on rent or you're saving a lot of money when you're buying the house. A lot of people use it. A lot of people also do it when they are from this country. So if you're French, you're gonna live in France. That gives you some issues connected to commuting, wasting your time, you know, problems with where your kids are going to school and everything. However, there is one important thing, taxes. That's almost not an issue. I say almost because you have to keep with uh, some restrictions around working uh, from home or any other stuff that I may not be as knowledgeable as other people who do it. However, how it works is you're doing your taxes in Luxembourg as your income is in Luxembourg. And that's why you have to be in office. Second option why you have to be in office is insurance, but that's secondary. So if you work in Luxembourg, live in Germany, France or Belgium, and you are at cross border, you're doing your taxes in Luxembourg and there is a special document that allows you to have this possibility. So this is a document that they created that these countries don't have to do different taxes because of the situation that they work in Luxembourg. So they just do their taxes in Luxembourg. And very important information is that if you are working in Luxembourg, living abroad as a cross-border, unfortunately you have limited time on working from home. So apart from the policy of your company, how much you can work from home, for example, in my place, in the current place I work, I have three days per week that I can work from home, but only because I live in Luxembourg. It doesn't have to be Luxembourg City, it has to be Luxembourg as a country. And people who are working in France and Belgium, they are allowed 34 days per year. I'm saying again, three, four, 34 days per year, uh, which is giving less than one day per week. If you subtract the holidays, maybe it's once a week. Then if you live in Germany, that these days are dropping till 90. So there are a lot of debates about how it should be, how they should increase these days and everything. There are a lot of thinking uh, about it, but also a lot of complaining. A lot of people, even if they sign up for the life, they save some money because they don't have to pay higher land, rent or higher mortgage they are still complaining about commuting, about working from home policies, even if a lot of stuff is actually given them. A lot of people try to make them happy, but I don't know if it's French people or who I'm sorry to say, but they just like to complain about it. And me, as a person who lives in Luxembourg, I don't like when they do it because it's their choice. I also owe my cho choices. I always say it in my videos uh, that we're owing your choices. It's always important. So yeah, some people go by car, some people do carpooling and other people go by train or by buses. But as a comparison, me living in a city center of Luxembourg, having my job not in a city center, it takes me around 15-20 minutes depending on the day to get to work by bus. I only have to take one bus and people who live uh, outside of Luxembourg take between one and one and a half hour doesn't matter if there is a train, bus or a car. If it's a car, I would say it's even more exhausting because you have to be all the time, you know, focused on the road. So that's a lot of time for commuting. And also to be aware, not everyone goes by car, which as I said, is also not an easy way because you always have to be focused for around two, three hours per day on the road. But some people take trains that often get are on strikes or they are delayed or they are cancelled. So you're never sure when and how you're gonna arrive to work. And also that mo for most of the people means that they either have to take a train and take a bus in Luxembourg or even take a bus in their place where they're living, train and bus again in Luxembourg. Or if they take a bus, 
Sometimes it's directly, sometimes they have to change, but it's a lot of work. So I understood where they come from, where they complain, but at the same time, there is a possibility of living in Luxembourg. It's their choice. So let me know what you think about it. If you would ever try to do this type of thing, I can tell you as a young person that I wouldn't recommend because of your social life, as you cannot go back home after a certain hour, because there's just no public transportation connection unless you're going out and you're able to drive. But that's another story. Nobody wants to drive. Like, not nobody, but like, it's not ideal to drive every Friday or Saturday in the weekends late at night. It's not also that safe. So I would say this is my opinion on the thing. If you don't go out or you're already older or you have kids and you know that you want to just save money or you do it for other reasons, it's just easier for your culture or any other reasons, you actually can share with me some reasons if you see some reasoning behind it on your point of view. But for me, as a young person, it doesn't make sense currently with my salary, that's very average salary of the office job junior position in Luxembourg. I don't see a need of uh, decreasing my rent and my expenses. I managed to save quite a lot of money anyways. So for me, for my social life and my way of living, being happy that I commute for 20 minutes to work, it's not necessary. However, I know that people do it for many different reasons, not only culture or money. So yeah, so you can share with me what do you think about the whole situation. I think that Luxembourg gives you a lot of opportunities also on this point of view, both from working from home and for taxes, for example. There are many more probably that I'm not aware of. So yeah, so that would be it for today. If you enjoyed this video, I would be very happy if you would hit the like button. That helps me a lot so this video will reach more people. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to my channel. I talk a lot about Luxembourg, living here, working and expenses. So if you enjoy this type of topics and you're planning to move to Luxembourg, subscribe to my channel to not miss any of my future videos. And here I'll leave you the video about pros and cons of living as a cross-border and Luxembourgish playlist. Thank you for watching, have a nice day, and I'll see you in another video.